press in defenders. So that can be done in two different ways. The first is the 20 millimeter flak 30. So it only is ever going to target um, either the fenders in purple or the fenders in red, and that's because again the 20 millimeter flak 30 was oriented to the northwest of the castle, so it's only going to be targeting those two. You can see also that it has three dice value, but this is going to be a little bit different than before. So the first thing we need to do is find the target. We're going to roll a six-sided dice and either a six-sided die and either target the uh, purple or red. So let's roll that, and we've got a six. So we're targeting red. So now let's look at all of our red people, all of our um, people in red. Now, unlike other times when we've done this, we've targeted specific defenders within those locations. This card actually targets every defender within that, within red. And we're going to be rolling three dice against every one of the defenders to suppress them. So we have to do this for every single guy, individually, one at a time, starting with the lowest number and working our way up. So, for example, for number one, we're going to roll three dice. We compare it to his defense. He's got a defense value of five right now because he's in the key. And it successfully suppressed him, so we place a suppress token. Then we just go to number two. There's no one there. Number three. Was a success again. Number four. Another success. Now, number five, South Terrace. Different, uh, different location, but in this case, same defense value. And number six up here. Once again, different location. Same suppression. Or same defense value. And, wow, so that was really bad for the, uh, the guys who are occupying red. So every single one of them was successfully suppressed. Okay, so that's one of the two ways in which defenders are suppressed. The other is through this um, SS squads. Now, for the whole game, we'll be building up SS counters around the board. And for the most part, all they're really going to be doing is advancing. However, you'll be building up um, machine gunners and mortars who are essentially waiting for their opportunity to attack the, the castle. And when I say attack, really all they're doing is suppressing the defenders. So, what does that mean? One, you're going to pick one color at a time. We'll just start for green here as an example. And we're going to count the total number of suppression of all of the counters in green. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the scouts don't add anything. So we have six total suppression in green. Once we've confirmed that we have at least one point of suppression, so meaning there has to be at least a guy there that can suppress. We're going to roll a six-sided dice against the color that corresponds. So these are all, oh, this guy's actually yellow. So it's a total of five, it's a total of five not six. Against the uh, corresponding color, so they're in green, so we look at all the green spaces, and we're targeting the six space. So we're targeting this space. We're going to roll a number of dice equal to the total suppression. So we counted it up and it was five. So, we've got five dice here. We're going to take those five dice, roll them, compare it to the location suppression. It was, oh, we have at least a five here, so he is suppressed. And we're going to do that for every color. So that was green. So green, we added it together. We rolled to see the location that's targeted. We suppressed that location. So for gray, it would be one, two, three, four, five, and then nothing for the scout. So five, they're going to be targeting the three spot. That's a good example because there's no one in three, so it goes to the next highest number. So it goes to four here. Once again, we're going to be rolling five dice.
And again, it's the suppression. So he's suppressed. This is a bad round for the defenders. Okay, then we go to yellow. We're going to have one, two, three. So they're going to be targeting yellow spaces. Um, they target four. So they target this space. This is a good example. He's already suppressed. So if he gets hit, let's roll and see what happens. Okay, the Great Hall had a four defense. He was successfully hit. He's already suppressed. That means he becomes instantly becomes a casualty and is removed from the game. I got, uh, any defender that's suppressed and gets suppressed again is a cash. It's treated as a casualty. Okay, and we go to purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then we're gonna roll location. Four. Four is here. And I don't even have nine dice. So I'm just gonna roll these five first. And plenty of successes, so another casualty. And I think you get it, but we'll just finish it off. So red, one, two, three. They're going to be targeting the red number five space, which is here, with three dice. And they finally got a miss. OK. So those are the two cards, the FLAC 30 and the SS squads attacking. Those are the two different ways in which defenders are suppressed. So that is uh, that actually concludes the, the last segment of the walkthrough rules here. So I hope the uh, videos have been helpful. If you have any questions, you can post them on YouTube or uh, in, on BoardGameGeek.